Welcome back. We all know construction is a double-edged sword. It needs to be done, but it's often a big inconvenience. And that's what neighbors near Washington Avenue are saying about the bridge closure there. News 10's Deanna Giles met with business owners and neighbors who say construction is taking way too long. Before this bridge was closed, neighbors near Willoughby Road wanting to shop at local businesses like the Lansing Fish Market on the other side would have been a less than five minute drive. Now that time has more than doubled. We basically lost almost half of our sale of business. Delshed Ibrahim says there's a noticeable difference of traffic before construction and now. We are customers that used to come a lot, we don't see them, and then we can sell by the end of night uh, the sale. So it's been affected. The sale amount has been almost half of the sale before the repair, before they started repairing the bridge. In frustration, someone posted a sign saying two years is unacceptable and other countries build bridges in a weekend. In a statement from Nick Sharifa with the Michigan Department of Transportation, he says, quote, the project is right on schedule with an anticipated opening date of November 5th. Seven twenty-six. Okay. So our mortgage is same, electric bill is same, everything is same. But uh, profit-wise, we are way low. All bills is uh, behind. So we, I'm getting a uh, one month from there, one month from the mortgage. We are not paying this month. We're gonna pay next month like that. Construction is causing issues for not only businesses but residents as well. Ray Harper lives nearby and says traffic has made his street busier. We have a lot of people living whole that are being sidelined to side streets. So therefore, it's an inconvenience to the neighborhood. It kind of became a quarter mile drag strip. Everyone agrees that the roads need to be done, but balancing the inconvenience is difficult. In Lansing, Deanna Giles, News 10. That Washington Avenue bridge closure is part of a larger project of $44 million investment over three years.